and Pod Racing. is pod racing. This is Star Wars Pod Racer for the Nintendo 64. It came out right around the time that the movie came out. Now, it's a common conception that movies make horrible video games, but sometimes, sometimes, movies make good video games. And this one was a great video game. It was in the arcade. A lot of people played it on the 64, but it's fallen into obscurity. Not a lot of people talk about it anymore, but it is a game that is worth playing tonight. Now, if you see down in the sticker, it's from Yesterday's Fun in Bethany Beach, Delaware. They've got a lot of really cool collectibles and a really nice hidden gem video game uh, section. So um, I, I definitely want to play this tonight. This was uh, came out in uh, 1997. Now, you would think to yourself that uh, we're only going to cover games that are 20 years older or longer, but truthfully, it's whatever we want to play. We, we're not beholden to anybody's rules. Right. So anyway, um, so if you're wondering why Bobby's not here, Bobby has, um, well, he's decided to take a more technical director and set designer role. So that is what he's going to do from now on. We are going to be using Bobby's classic cartridge catalog and be we're going to really enjoy it. <laughs> so anyway, um, also, I decided to wear this shirt today. Since we're playing Star Wars, I decided to wear the uh, Star Wars Millennium Falcon shirt. I thought it would be fitting. Yeah, I, I decided to wear my shirt from work today because I came from work today. Did you also think it was fitting? I, yeah, I think so. Is it fitting? It, it is. <laughs> it is. It will, this is what you get, man. <laughs> it fits you quite well. Why think? Why think? So anyway, let's get to play. Star Wars Pod Racer! <laughs> Oh man, Lucas Arts, man. <laughs> ah. No, it's dumb. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I so, like. Yeah, we're playing Star Wars Pod Racer. I like how at the beginning of this, this had an advertisement for the uh, expansion pack. Which, by the way, we are not playing the expansion packed version. Yeah. Um, I heard that it like increases draw distance but this is one of the games that actually took advantage of the expansion pack but we're not doing playing the expansion pack version yeah, Luke, before before we pick characters before we pick characters name name three no no name one name one racer other than Sebulba and Anakin name one pod racer um so I actually watched all the pod racing clips off of YouTube today. Mm -hmm. So I I just watched this. Uh, name one pod racer from I mean they they named several of them in the movie. They Zaphod Beetlebrox. Zaphod Beetlebrox. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> yeah, I it, da damned if you think um, I don't remember a single uh, racer other than is, Sebulba. Is, is Slarty Bartifard in there? No, that's also from uh, yes. Injustice. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Slarty Bartfars? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Slarty, so. Slarty Bartfars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listened to the audiobook version of... <laughs> Of Hitchhiker's Guide recently. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. You, you can't name a single pod racer. No, I can't. Uh, okay, can you before we go into the roster? Yes. Okay, yeah. name one. One. Name one. Mars Guo. Mars. Ga uh, Gasgano. The galaxy famous Gasgano. Yes. 
Uh, who else? I who feel else? like you're making these up. No, you're gonna look through Bull's Roar, Odie Mantrell, um, Ben Quadraneros. What? He has four arms. I think that's why they call him Quadraneros. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Right. But, I mean... Well, that's how George Lucas names things. I like it how Tolkien, he, like, actually <laughs> spent years researching language to come up with plausible names for things. Lucas just uses ethnic stereotypes. <laughs> 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 okay, let's get... Let's rock. Star Wars Episode One: Racer. Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca. Ah. Yeah, that's a racial slur. Yeah. Yeah, that that's our word. All right. <laughs> Pick your character. Um well, we, we, I mean, this is the where I'm picking a profile right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um we actually just bought this from the um yesterday's fun store, so this is the previous profiles that still are on here. Sure. So Pick them up. um I'll just I'll just do the PPPP. We're going to be PPP. Um there's Gas Gasgano. Gano. I forgot about Holy... Deadbolt. Bolt. Holy crap! They're all on I... here. See, this is why I can't remember real people's names. Because I got so many Lord of the Rings names and Star Wars names in my head. Oh man, I just listened to the Cimmerillion. Oh yeah? It's <laughs> really good! So let's man, see. I tell, I... What, I tell you oh, what. Oh yeah, though. the Cimmerillion is... You can't listen. You can't read it though. You have to do the audiobook. It's. Not... I do love the audiobook. I'm gonna be Gasgano. Gasgano. Um, yeah. Pick a winner, man. Might as well just do the original spot at least okay. from the beginning. Yeah. Um. Th- three. Three laps. Maybe maybe two laps so we can get through more. Yeah races. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Start race. Here it goes. So. Yeah, this is... I played the crap out of this game when I was a kid. I played it on PC, actually. I remember the polygon work being a <laughs> lot better. Uh, I mean, I play um, Ocarina of Time all the time, and, I mean, it doesn't look as bad... You know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... Yeah. But, uh... You know, this, this, this was pretty mind-blowing at the time. At least I thought so. And, uh... I, I remember I had a big joystick to play this game, too. Um... That, like... No. You're thinking pretty well of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. No, I really did. I had, like, um... I've soiled it. A cereal it, port. Like, a joystick so- that went in the cereal port. <laughs> I, there's no way to dig myself out of this. No, instead. there isn't. <laughs> I sullied it. That's what I was you looking for. I it. sullied it. Ah, uh, well, well. Are you gonna run into yeah, it? No. Yeah, oh only a oh man. <laughs> oh, I just ran into. How did I survive running into a rock? Oh, and on another one. So I'm, I am pretty excited about, like, more so than usual, Star Wars right now. I'm most of the way through the third of the new Thrawn trilogy. Yeah. Thrawn Treason. It's, it's awesome. Oh, dude, that record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm almost done with the third book, and I'm I'm kind of sad to be done with it because I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna read next. You know what? That's what I've ha- oh, I felt about uh, Orson Scott Card's books mm-hmm. because I mean I read the last one, um, Shadow of the Giant. I think was the last one, and, or Shadows in Flight. Shadows in Flight. And man, I thought. Oh, I mean, I was sad to be done with it. But even more sad because he's not done with it. Uh huh. It's been it's been like fifteen years and he hasn't finished it. It's like uh, name of the weird King Killer Chronicles, huh? Oh, did you hear that they're gonna come out with a uh, or they're talking about doing a movie? Uh, I thought that was a rumor. No, it was not a rumor, but it got canceled. Oh. So uh, it may. It, it's it's gone back to the drawing board as far as like director and everything. Whoa. Let's see. <laughs> Man, I'm wrecking into everything. But... I like how I lean. Like, that's gonna help. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. The Boonta Classic. That's it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, next, let's do the next level. Yeah, let's do the next level. I don't... I mean, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. What? 
I figured out the boost mode. I figured out the boost oh, mode. Oh, you did? You hold forward on the joystick. And then, whenever the thing turns red, you, like, you release the A button, and then you tap it, like, real quick. Really? It makes it hard to steer, but you go really fast. Probably wreck more, too. Yeah. Well, is that what was happening in the last race? Maybe. <laughs> so, so, you... <laughs> so what? You know, people. Oh crap! <laughs> wow. Well, I that just boosted past you. Yeah, that didn't work well. Or did for you? Me. Did you wreck? You know, a lot of people like to to crap on the the prequel movies and especially Episode One, but I remember loving this movie when I was a kid, and like especially the pod racers. Well, you know, it just. I said the, there was a lot of great ideas. It was just thematically, it was disjointed. That that's that that's my only. I guess I'd say agreement. Mm -hmm. Is it over? Already? Yeah, it's quick race. <gasps> okay, number three. Number three. Libido's wild ride. Libido's wild ride. Libido's wild ride. My libido. Never mind. I'm not gonna finish this. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're in, uh, we're in like the, we're like where, damn it, I can't think of what I was going to say. I think Doctor, Doctor Strange probably trains up here with uh, the bald lady. Um, you mean the, uh, the ancient one? The ancient, oh god, I'm falling oh! off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you still alive? Yeah. Oh, game physics. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, whoa, man. whoa, oh. this, this is a pretty wild map, though. If I live through this, I might want to do this one again. Yeah. Whoa, what the? There's a, there's a lot to wreck into on this one. Like, these first, I remember some of these maps being really hard. Whoa. <laughs> I'm wrecking all over everything. <laughs> Oh, I have one engine! I have one engine! Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, that was cool. I didn't yeah, know that you could do crazy. that. But yeah, it makes me... Sometimes it makes me sad to hear people crap on these movies, because I just remember... Like, this came out when I was in middle school, and I just remember it. Yeah, but is that nostalgia, or is it... Yes, it's nostalgia. Okay. Of course it is. And uh, that's okay. That's, that's a component of it. Um, yeah, yeah, they're deeply flawed movies, but I don't know. They're not so bad. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I just don't like to criticize things all the time. Not all the time. All right. But when it comes to something I'm into, then you're like crapping all over. Yeah. Whoa. That's because you have garbage taste. Well, I you're a garbage I, person. I don't mean it. <laughs> Whoa! Uh -oh, man. I'm really moving, booking it. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Is there a break in this game? Ah. Uh, I mean, I have... I uh, don't have wheels to break against, so... I mean, uh, I think the B button slows you down. Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the B button slows you down. Yeah. I think uh, more often just letting off the gas is a better way to, if you're having a hard time making a turn. Yeah, do the boost. Oh! Yeah. I've oh, no. Now I've got one engine. <laughs> Oh, Was that your character that went, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because all the pod racers are like cartoon characters, man. I feel like George Lucas was really gunning for Disney before. Yeah, probably. Oh, I need to get the boost on, man. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> I think the boost is not... It's not helping me as much as it seems. Ah, uh, 
You're gonna blow up. Uh oh. Uh, Engine fire. You're on fire, man. In this game, that's not a good thing. No. <laughs> Me and Alex play a lot of Overwatch. <laughs> or at least more than the normal person. Yeah. Oh god, I'm wrecking again! Haha, <laughs> and I still won! Uh... I kind of want to do the, that one again. Well, I'm hoping that we get to like the fourth... Uh, race here. We unlock another race. Yeah, that would be nice. Nah, I think How do we got... unlock these? Oh, um, yeah, there's there's more oh. on, like the different circuits. Oh, oh, okay. Um, let's do, let's do the, go down one, um, that one. That one is really cool. Let's, oh. fi let's finish on this one. Okay. Um, it's got like this Start there. There we go. It's got like an anti gravity tube. What? So I shouldn't skip it. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, Whoa, that was a real showstopper! Oh, uh, that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I don't know if there's a way to get a boost start here or not. Yeah, yeah this is a real cool level. Whoa, I think it'll be a it cool is way really to cool. On. I feel like I'm about to take out the Death Star. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Oh, I just, um, I just, oh, that was bad. Yeah. Place to do a Blowing boost. Up. <clears throat> Thinking of the Death Star. I, my favorite thing about the third uh, Thrawn trilogy book is that it's a, it's about characters from the sequel. It's about uh, Director Krennix in there. Well, no, that's not it. Uh, Rogue One, that's it. Oh, okay. Characters from Rogue One are in uh, this this Admiral Thrawn book. God, my character's doing all this goofy stuff. <laughs> oh? Yeah. <don't>... Oh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> yeah, and then this is the anti-gravity tube where you fly in the middle of it. You dodge these asteroids. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool because direct whoa, director... Whoa, whoa, that is cool. Yeah. This is awesome. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. This is really cool. I don't think I ever even played this level. I feel like I'd remember it. Yeah. I, I remember it well. It was my favorite. But yeah, Director Krennic is a main character, a secondary character in the book, and uh, uh, it's interesting to see this additional background to the construction of the Death Star and stuff. Oops, that was bad. There's a lot to crash into, and yeah, I was definitely better at this when I was like, ten. <laughs> you know? Oh, you're catching up to me. This is a cool level. Yeah. I am really bad at this game. <laughs> oh, God. Oh! Ah, we both wrecked into it. <laughs> we both tried to use our boost, and... Did you try to use your boost? No, no. I'm, I'm trying to not wreck as much. I'm excited about the new movie coming out. The new uh, Star Wars movie. Yeah. Speculation there, of course. There's a lot it. of speculation. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm always excited about Star Wars. I mean, I've heard some really good um, speculations. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite speculators of the Star Wars series mm -hmm. is uh, uh, Star Wars Theory. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I forget the I forget the guy's name, but uh, really really great theories, um, very plausible, and he always backs up his stuff. Yeah. He also has a fan series that he's make putting together that's within the can that's plausible within the canon. That you know it basically makes Darth Vader a much more deep character. Uh, it, 
it was pretty it's pretty good that sounds cool I suggest checking it out. Um, What's it called again? Um, it's from uh, Star Wars Theory, mm -hmm. and it's like the Darth... I forget what it's called. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah, it's... Yeah, look up his channel. It's on there. But, uh... Yeah, uh, I am excited. There's a lot of stuff that's, uh, that's in there. Um, as far as, like, his predictions for the next movie. But the one thing that he has a very good point on is this is this is supposed to be the end of the Skywalker series. Mm -hmm. So if Palpatine comes back, Anakin kind of needs to come back. I yeah, I, I really hope Anakin comes back as a Force ghost. Or in some capacity. Yeah. Ah, I wrecked on that again. I mean, if... Because, you know, that's... Oh, well, I mean, one of the things that he brought up was, you know, if if Yoda was able to affect the physical world mm -hmm. as a Force ghost, then what does it actually mean to be a Force ghost? Kind of. So... Thinking of Star Wars theories and pod racers, you ever hear the theory that Maz from Maz's Cantina oh, that she's is a, a former pod racer? Oh. You ever hear that? I heard that she was a Jawa, but a pod racer would actually make more, well, more sense. Because, um, you know, one of the reasons why Annie could do it, mm -hmm. Anakin, was uh, that he was able to feel the force. Right. And she feels the force. Yeah, she's clearly a force sensitive. She, she can't she can't affect the force, but she can feel it. The um the theory though, it comes from like in Maz's Cantina, there are pod racer flags. Like on the ceiling. It's it's one of those background details that when you see it, you see it. But they are definitely meant to be pod racer flags on the ceiling of Mars's game deal. That would actually make a really nice d dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's a callback to the, the prequel series and who's that fan theory? It's a new lap. Hey. I see. Hey, I won. 301-53-301-22. Uh, total 558-20. Hey, hey I won. By less than a second. Hey, I won. But you did win. I won. That was I a, won! <laughs> that was a cool level, though, wasn't it? Yes, it really was. Awesome. So, this was Star Wars Pod Racer. Um, if you guys have a chance to check it out, check it out. It was a great game. It's kind of a ripoff to <laughs> F-Zero and even more so Wipeout. Mm -hmm. But set in the Star Wars universe and it is a lot of fun and this level in particular is very reminiscent of Star Wars. Pretty cool. You know I, I gotta say playing this I haven't played this since I was in ninth grade or something like seriously but playing it again <laughs> I couldn't talk over that. <laughs> I seriously couldn't talk over that. <laughs> um, but anyway, anyway, I haven't played this since I was a kid, and this was a lot of fun to play again. I, I really could play this a lot longer. So, um, in fact, I kind of want to. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, so, uh, abstance, abstance. Yeah. Apart from that, um. I uh, decided on a bonus game for tonight. Yeah? Since we're doing a racing game, I figured we could do a timeless classic this week. Mm -hmm. RC Pro-Am for Nintendo. And uh, I'm told that Bobby has it. So, we're going to go ahead and pop in RC Pro-Am. Hold on for the bonus. All right. RC Pro Am. Oh man, this, this is exciting music. Just but I mean, can you expect anything else from Rare? This is this is an early Rareware game, 1987 Rare Limited. Yeah, back before they had 
the concept of two players. <laughs> apparently, apparently, RC Pro M, we didn't know this, but it's only one player game, so. What? We're gonna enjoy this music? Start it up, man. Alright. Yeah, push start for one player. So Wait, I'm, wrong button. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit, I've actually never played this before. Well, you can play the second round if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Um, oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm running. Oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, um. <laughs> so you're supposed to be like remote control cars. Yeah, that's why it's, 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 it's RC. RC Pro AM, like the AM frequency. Remember, remember RC Cola? I just drank an RC Cola the other day. Okay, so they still make RC. They Cola. still make RC Cola. I, I don't know. I had it in my head that that was something that didn't exist anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> no, they still, they still, they're still a thing. Ah, uh, this is hard to control. Yes, it is. Okay. That okay. was part of the part of the allure of the game. That it had <laughs> a built-in difficulty. Yeah, it was just plainly hard. Oh God, it's hard to control. <laughs> <laughs> Just see yourself in the car. Hey, you picked up an N. I picked up an N. I don't know what an N does. I got all the powers of the letter N. Do you remember <laughs> Captain N? Do I remember Captain Yes, I remember Captain N. Captain N was the best. The Super Mario Super Show, and then after it came on oh. Captain N the Game Master. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I actually rewatched a few episodes of that not so long ago, and that show was corny. <laughs> Wasn't Summus in that? Uh, I don't think um, Mother Brain was. Mother Brain was like the main villain. The then who was who was the girl that was in that? Uh, not a video game character. Are you the, sure? Yeah, she was the princess of video game land or something. <laughs> but uh, you mean you mean Princess Peach? No, no. She was kind of like a generic video game esque character. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Captain N, the Game Master. I rewatched a couple episodes of it not so long ago just to see how corny it was. I. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> You're in third place. You gotta. You got uh, the other button I, shoots rockets. I gotta. Oh, okay. It does not. It drops bombs. I just dropped a bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna make it into first. I'm gonna make... No! Hey, that's a pretty looking uh, one. Looks like a three. Yeah. Boo. All right, I think I'm done. Yeah, that's enough RC Pro Am. But I'm glad we played this. Yeah, it, it was... was a lot of fun. Yeah. But uh... man, <laughs> now he's doing donuts. <laughs> That was the best part about this game. And I'm dropping bombs. <laughs> oh, and now I'm just honking my horn. Aww. But yeah, man, a lot of these old games, fun then, still fun. Now. It's still fun now. So this has been Bobby's Classic Cartridge Catalog. That's a part of Random Geek Culture in West Virginia. And that's where we are in West Virginia. Just having fun being geeks. You can reach out to us at... Our phone number, 304-566-9777. Leave a voicemail message or drop me a text. You can also hit me on email at randomwvgeek at gmail.com. You can also look at all of our social media at linktree slash randomgeekculture. Had to remember what it was. It, yeah, you forgot yeah. what your. your it's actually uh, <laughs> link tr.ee slash random geek culture, but it's on the YouTube. You'll find that in our show notes. Yes. Um, so, anyway, uh, this has been episode two. Episode two um, of Bobby's Classic Cartridge Catalog, and I hope you guys keep coming back to us many, many months in the future. <laughs>